until it spans all occupations, all income levels, all neighborhoods, all groups. It's Jews from the fringes of everywhere. People who used to be religious or not religious anymore, some people who are kind of undecided, some people who just don't fit in anywhere else. I've never seen a place like this anywhere else in the world. It's, it's like a phenomenon. Shalit is a stew cooked traditionally for the Sabbath. We serve it here on Thursday night. It's an apt description of the people that uh, attend. You've got people who are artists here, you've got people who've got, who are very well to do, and they, they've got, at the same time, you've got a homeless person just chilling out next to them. So we try to create a, a, a community here, um, and one which is as open and, and uh, welcoming as possible. Shalom, you just throw everything into the mix. And when you think about it, that's what this is. Why well, love is Jewish hip hop to the next level. Hip hop in every holy language all put together. English, Hebrew, Aramaic, Arabic, Yiddish, and Latin. <laughs> the sky, black Semitic man militant. If you want a mission, pull the vision, stay vigilant. I ain't trying to play without the scriptures. I'd have died. Educate the population about the changes of the times. When we started rhyming in yeshiva as the way to learn, people in yeshiva didn't take too kindly to it. It was blatantly, obviously racist. One apartment I called up and uh, the woman asked me straight up over the phone, are you white? And I said, no. And she's like, no, well, that's a little bit not good. This is my house we're talking about and hangs up. Moses himself couldn't get an apartment in Borough Park. Not with his black wife, who was from the Sudan. Nah, he wouldn't get an apartment in Borough Park. One race, one world, Huskers ain't a show inside. Why I love it ain't a question. I demand understanding. Demand it in the shuls, churches, and the massage Al-alam al-wahid biha olam echad. Forget the flags, it's all unity. One nation under God. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Build bridges, not walls. Unity elevates, divisions destroy. It's just that simple. I'm Rifka. I'm an artist. I live in Long Island City in Queens. I was raised Hasidic. My personal experience was I, I didn't fit in. I left when I was 21. It was the point when I would have to get married and start a family. We were sitting in the car with my mom and my dad and I said that I wanted to go to school and she said she wished I was dead. And it took me a long time to figure out that there could be another world for me that I could create for myself. These are some of my pieces here. Oh, that's cool, I like it. Thank you. Yeah. I've been working mostly on expressing the way I grew up and, and my spiritual heritage. This is called a talus cuffin, which is a small talus or a small prayer. My name is Levi and I've known for being a fashion designer, working in the garment business. This dress over here is a prayer shawl, as we see. A designer who grew up in New York's Hasidic community has caused an uproar of his collection of dresses made of parchment and embossed with Torah inscriptions. Many find Okunov's designs offensive and the use of Jewish symbolism draw attention to models' bodies. This is my perspective of, of taking objects that I've been raised with and have been such a big part of my life, that are still a part of my life, and bringing them into, into the world that I'm into. Most of Jewish people will only see a song and a davening to be the same. I believe in art's a form of mysticism. But all of us who are out here doing, who are, you know, repping for the religious left and are doing creative, progressive, spiritual things and trying to bring, you know, God down into realms where he hadn't been brought before. If we are part of a movement, then this movement has a lot of power right now. And if we are part of a movement, then this movement has a huge task in front of it right now to rebrand God in the eyes of a lot of people.